Fetal Circulation Fetus is connected to placenta by the umbilical cord, which has two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. The fetal circulation is arranged in parallel, rather than in series, most of the right ventricle output is delivered to the placenta for oxygenation, and most of the left ventricle output is delivered to the heart, brain, and upper part of the body. Let's see it, how it happens. The fetal blood is oxygenated in the placenta, and is returned to the fetus via the umbilical vein. The richly oxygenated blood in the umbilical vein divides as it enters the liver, being distributed equally between the ductus venosus, and the liver parenchyma. Ductus venosus is a direct shunt, that allows the blood from umbilical vein to enter inferior vena cava, near its junction with the right atrium. The richly oxygenated blood from ductus venosus remains on the dorsal and leftward aspect of IVC, which then preferentially enters the left atrium via foramen ovale. In left atrium, this richly oxygenated blood, mixes with small amount of deoxygenated blood, from lungs via pulmonary veins. As the lung doesn't take part in oxygenation in fetus, the oxygenated blood then enters left ventricle and it's pumped into the aorta, thus oxygenated blood enters the coronary, cerebral, and upper limb circulation. Only a small portion of left ventricular output reaches the descending thoracic aorta. The highly deoxygenated blood from lower limbs and abdominal viscera, reaches IVC. It is preferentially directed across tricuspid valve into right ventricle. The deoxygenated blood from SVC also preferentially directed across tricuspid valve into right ventricle. It is then pumped into pulmonary artery. As the pulmonary vascular resistance is very high in the fetus, most of the right ventricular output is directed into descending thoracic aorta, via ductus arteriosus. The lower half of the body is thus supplied with relatively desaturated blood. The deoxygenated blood then reaches the placenta for oxygenation via the two umbilical arteries, which are branches of internal iliac arteries. The parallel circulation and preferential blood streaming are possible due to the three important shunts, namely ductus venosus, foramen ovale, and ductus arteriosus, as described earlier.